welcome to the skincare 101 series my name is Amina and if this is your first time seeing this face hi thank you so much for stopping by I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and if you already subscribed welcome back also hit that bell notification so you know when I post a new video today we are going to be diving into the world of cleansers and if you're a skincare newbie or an enthusiast this video is going to be your guide and basically contain all the information you need to keep your skin clean and healthy so let's get started so the first question you might ask is why is cleansing important or why are cleansers important you want to look at it this way cleansing is kind of like the foundation of every skincare routine it basically helps to remove oil makeup dirt from your skin and just like prevent your pores from clogging which in turn can prevent breakouts so you want to think of it as a reset button for your skin which prepares it for like the rest of your routine or the rest of the products you're going to apply on your skin so next we want to look at the different types of cleansers and yes just like every other product we have different types of cleansers which is suited to the different skin type let me break it down for you so we have the gel cleansers which are perfect for people with oily skin or acne prone skin and this is because they basically like go deep down into your skin and your pores and like take out all the dirt and cleanses it so if you have like oily skin acne prone skin you have um, skin that has open pores these are the type of cleansers that you want to kind of gravitate towards next we have foam cleansers and just like the name says it literally cleanses that foam and this is also good for people that have oily skin because it helps to remove all the dirt on your skin without actually being too harsh and stripping your skin of all the nutrients that it actually needs to like remain healthy and then we have cream cleansers and this is perfect for people that have dry and sensitive skin because it does the job of a cleanser cleanses your skin without stripping all the hydration away and even like actually aiding with hydration on your skin so next are oil based cleansers and these are perfect for removing breaking down makeup sunscreen from your skin and they are more effective when you use them as like a double cleanse for the double cleansing method this is where you use the oil based cleanser first so just kind of break down all that gunk on your skin and then you go back in with a regular either foam gel whatever type of cleanser that you want to use after that and then finally we have micellar water this is honestly not my favorite type of cleanser and I would think I would say this is one of those like double cleansing um, products whereby you use the micellar water and if you have sensitive skin it might be good for you it just helps to kind of like take up take off dirt on your skin and it's basically like a no rinse cleanser where the rest of the cleansers I mentioned you actually have to rinse them off of your skin with using a micellar water all you need is the product and a cotton pad and then you use it to take off like dirt makeup or whatever from your skin I personally don't like this type of cleanser because I feel like it doesn't take off as much I just don't feel clean when I use it but it's effective for some people so now that we have like the different types of cleansers out the way let's talk how to actually clean your skin let's talk about like the basic cleansing routine you always want to start off with cleaning your hand which it sounds very simple but it's one of the most important thing because you don't want to take the dirt that you already have on your hands from the environment and then put it back onto your face so you always 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 want to start by just like rinsing and washing your hands and then you want to apply a small amount of your cleanser on your hands and if you're using your gel or your foam cleansers you apply it on your hands first and if you're using your micellar water this is something you apply directly on your face or a cotton pad after applying the cleanser you want to go ahead and massage it gently into your skin I would always try to avoid underneath my eyes sometimes especially if I'm using a cleanser that has acids in them but if you're using a gentle like gel cleanser that just has like ceramides in them you can go ahead and apply them underneath your eye so just work your cleanser on your skin like a circular motion and cleanse just make sure you're getting every nook and cranny of your face and then you want to go ahead and rinse your face I like to use lukewarm water to kind of rinse the cleanser off my face I know they we, we used to say kind of like you should use hot water to rinse your face first and then cold water honestly that is just a myth because it used to be like oh hot water would open up your pores and then cold water would like close it back up that doesn't like honestly using extremely hot water and using extremely cold water can actually not be too good on your skin because like it can it tends to be too harsh I don't know if that makes sense but yeah just use like lukewarm water and rinse off your cleanser from your face and you're good to go so now that you know how to cleanse your face next is when do you actually cleanse do you cleanse once a day do you cleanse twice a day everybody has their routine but for me I think the best thing is to cleanse your face twice a day so ideally yes you should cleanse your face twice a day 
once in the morning before you like start your day to take off any overnight like dirt and oil and then secondly in the evening to take off all the dirt from the day if you have makeup on or not from just like the skincare and all the environmental dirt but for me I would say if you have dry skin I would advise rinsing your face just once a day especially if you have the habit of always doing your skincare the night before you go to bed so I would say in the morning you can just cleanse your face with water just like splish splash if that makes sense so yeah just splash your face with water and you're good to go go ahead and do your skincare i wouldn't recommend doing that every single day but for the most part you can get away with using just water on your face in the morning and then of course make sure you're using an actual cleanser at night so you know what a cleanser is you know how to cleanse your face you know when to cleanse your face but you're still having trouble figuring out which cleanser is right for you i got you so deciding what cleanser is right for you depends on your skin type and what you're trying to do and for example if you have oily skin gel and foam cleansers are usually the best because they help to control like excess oil on your skin this this type of cleansers tend to go deep into your skin, cleanses it out, removes all the buildup, which in turn like reduces the occurrence of acne and it does this without leaving any oily residue on your skin. So if you have oily skin, you might want to, like I said before, you might want to gravitate towards um, gel and foam cleansers. I'm also going to leave recommendations for different types of cleansers in each category um, down in the description box. There's going to be a link. You can go ahead and check them out. If you're interested in buying them, just go ahead and do that or you can just kind of like Go ahead and see the different recommendations that i have and see which one works for you an example of a gel cleanser i would recommend is the la Roche Posay. um i cannot spell the name but i will leave it on the screen here it's a really really good cleanser if you have oily skin another cleanser i would recommend is the naturium jelly niacinamide cleanser that is also really really good if you have oily skin i have a few more that i cannot remember off the top of my head i would definitely leave them down in the description box for you guys to see Next is if you have dry skin cream cleansers honestly are your best friends or should be your best friend and this is because like they provide the necessary hydration while cleansing your face and a perfect example of a hydrating cleanser or a cream um, cleanser would be the CeraVe hydrating cleanser I believe or honestly all CeraVe cleansers for the most part except the one with the salicylic acid I would say if you have dry skin you would you can try them out because they are really really good and they have like ceramides in them to keep like your skin hydrated and also cleanse like you cleanse your you cleanse your face you feel clean and your skin is still hydrated you don't have that dry feeling and the thing is most people misconstrued having a clean face to having a dry face you know when you wash your face sometimes and like your face feels like you just had a facelift your cleanser is too harsh there's no reason why you should wash your face and then when it dry, when it dries up a little bit you are feeling like you just finished like having your skin tightened behind you it's not that deep like you should cleanse your face and still feel a little bit of hydration on your skin so definitely if you have dry skin it becomes it tends to be a bit worse if you're using like cleansers that are not meant for your skin i know not everybody likes cream cleansers me personally I don't really like cream cleansers because sometimes it just tends to feel like I'm applying a cream on my face if you don't mind it I would definitely recommend it but if you're like me you might want to try out using the gel cleansers. they're also really gentle they don't strip your skin of all the um, hydration and all the essential oils and they're also like good with keeping your face hydrated next is combination skin and honestly I feel like combination skin is the best of both worlds you get to use everything again with combination skin just like I said gel cleansers are usually like the best because they tend to kind of like cleanse your face go deep down into your pores remove all the buildable gunk on your skin and also keeps you hydrated so if you have combination skin and if you don't know what combination skin is combination skin is basically you have parts of your skin that are usually dry and parts that tend to be oily for most people you tend to find that the middle of your face tends to be a bit more oily than the rest of your face and that usually is what is called combination skin so you might want to gravitate towards using like a gel cleanser because they're just like the best of both worlds they're like the perfect balance for every skin type and then if you're the lucky ones that have like a normal skin you don't have any stress your skin is just normal it is a good balance between oily and dry honestly free for all you can use any cleanser you want and the thing is the truth of the matter is technically you can use any cleanser you want even if you have an oily skin you have a dry skin you can technically use any cleanser you want it's just a matter of using what is actually the best for your skin and what feels 
the best for you personally again like i said i'm going to have like all the recommendations for all the different types of skincare uh, all the different types of cleansers in all the different categories linked down in the description so if you want to check it out that would be great for foaming cleansers i know the cos rx um, ph cleanser is also a really good one for the oil cleansers i'm currently using the anua heart leaf oil cleanser and then there's also the dhc cleansing oil those are really really good options again i'm going to leave everything linked in the description if you want to check them out and that is basically all for our skincare 101 series today and that is all about cleansers if you have any specific questions please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section yes where else would you leave it leave a comment down below let me know if you find anything useful if you have any specific questions you would like me to answer or if you have any video ideas or recommendations you would like me to film i will be more than happy to indulge or indulge i don't know what the right word is but yeah that is basically it if you found this video helpful give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and of course the bell notification very very important very important hit the bell notification so you know when i post a new video and i will see you guys in my next one